Thank you all for being here today. You are appreciated. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to view this video. You are truly appreciated because every view on this channel counts. So thank you so much. I don't know if you guys remember that intro. But the old school wrestling fans, traditionalists, will remember that intro and know where it's from. It used to be, you could play it on a, on a, on a VCR, Coliseum, home videos. Yeah, WWF, buddy. I got some two great custom figures that I want to share with you guys today. And then I got a couple of other things that I would like to share with you guys today. It's Duran Customs. The Rambrose Collectibles, store name, not item name. And it's custom underscore wrestling underscore lucha underscore figures on Instagram. On Facebook, it's Legends of the Squared Circle. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy what we share with you today. And hopefully, it could take your mind off of things of what's going on in this world. And it could bring some joy into your life. Thank you so much. Let me jump right into it with what I'm about to share. The custom first custom figure that I want to share with you guys, this guy was a legendary heel. He wrestled in Stampede Wrestling in Canada with the Hearts. He wrestled in the old WWWF. He also wrestled in WWC in Puerto Rico with Carlos Colon and also in the AWA. This guy was a legendary heel. He also came on some new... Some movies I know like Escape from New York and I'm talking none other than the legendary Ox Baker, brother. So right now we're paying tribute to this legendary heel on Durant Customs, brother. Hopefully you love this. Check this out. Wow. Man, look at that. Look at those eyebrows. I, I, I mean... I, I think I captured him pretty good. Look at the hair. We painted the hair on his chest. We did the eyebrows, brother. We did the gold tee. We tried to match the body type. I know he was a little bit bigger. Maybe he was a little bit bigger. Now you got me thinking. Now you got me thinking. Now you're pushing my creative buttons, brother. So if he was bigger, write in the comments. Let me know so I could create something to match him as much as possible. He's got the OX in white. He's got the red trunks. He's got the black boots with the white laces and the white trim. Check that out, brother. Man. So if you don't have the, with the white um, tape around the wrist, if you don't have this guy in your wrestling collection, well, you need him. Check it out, man. I hope you guys love this figure. I hope it puts us... Look at that. The old school wrestling fans, we try to create what nobody else create and pay tribute to the legends that they haven't made that needed a figure. We try to do that for them and do them justice. I try, I try. You know, uh, it brings a joy to me, so I try and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Check it out though. And that's Ox Baker. He had the legendary heart punch. Or was it the hurt punch? Man. Look at that. Wow. I think that's a pretty awesome figure. I think that's a pretty cool figure. I don't know. I'm just saying. I think I did him a little bit justice there. I think that's pretty awesome. That was his legendary color. I think he also came out in yellow. Yellow tights. I did a version of that, but I don't have it no more. But if you guys are interested in this figure, you know where you could get him at. Okay. The second custom figure... I want to share with you guys, he was a WWWF heavyweight champion. This guy wrestled the likes of Bruno San Martino, Gorilla Monsoon, Superstar Billy Graham. He also was a tag team champion in the NWA with Nikita Koloff. Man, this guy did everything. He was another heel. So today we're paying tribute to the heel because without the heels, the baby faces wouldn't get no push and get that pop that they get. Right? So we need a good heel. Just like the Von Erichs needed the Freebirds and WCCW, brother, to push them to that next level. And I want to share with you who were paid tribute also. 
And that's to Ivan Kolop, my version, my rendition of Ivan Kolop, brother. And here it is. Did the black sinklet on him? Custom has a little belt to throw on him. The red burgundy boots with the black trim at the bottom. Painted the skin tone on him. Threw some chest hair on him. He had that beard on him. Man. My little version of it, hopefully, because it's so hard to get a good Ivan Cone off out there. I think it looks pretty cool, though. He didn't have the red around the, but I just threw that in. I have to make it unique. Every figure that is created by, by Durant Customs is unique. There's never one exactly the same as another one. I hope you guys enjoy it, though. But look at that. I think that came out pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool, you know. So if you guys like that, I mean, we had to pay tribute to the legendary, the legend himself, Ivan Kolov, brother. Ivan Kolov. So I wanted to share with you guys also, I don't know if I shared you, with you guys before, but these little plaques that I create, they would look cool on your desk at work or in your man cave or with your collectible figures, you know, of Mil Mascaras. Of Blue Demon, of my favorite personal El Canet. Put the little bit, little belt right there at the bottom. These wood plaques there. Look at that. I think those are pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I wanted to share with you guys another little figure that. Remember, I was saying WC. I'm a big fan of WCW back in the days. And their figures are made by uh, Toy Biz. And I believe some were made by Marvel. I said in Toy Mate. They were made. Some were made by Marvel. And I got this pretty rare. Eric Bischoff. He came with a jacket. I don't know what happened. And it does say Marvel figures at the bottom. So I wanted to share that with you guys. WCW. I believe he came out in a two-pack or a three-pack. I'm not sure if it was with the announcer or who exactly he came out with. Maybe Hogan. But I'll, I'll look it up and I'll get back to you guys on the next video or in a couple of videos to clarify that with. Because I know him. This, I believe this was the only Eric Bischoff figure from the the WCW figures that was created. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, you guys could write in the comment and let me know. But I'm pretty sure this was the, the the only one that they created. You know, man, and I love the WCW Monday Night War. Well, he started off as a as a ring announcer with AWA. And I loved the AWA too, man. Vern Gagne. I, I, I loved it. Larry Zabisco. The Road Warriors were there. The Freebirds were there. Man, there were so many great wrestlers there, man. They even, towards their last tapings was done in Las Vegas. I loved it all, man. The AWA Super Clash. Kerry Von Erich versus Jerry the King Lawler with the unification match. Man, dude, that was a super cool match and a super cool car. Wow. Take me back to the good old days, brother. But the, you know what? These younger cats right now are doing a great job. I love what's going on. We got a variety going on right now in wrestling, Impact Wrestling, AAA Wrestling in Mexico. We got um, AEW. We got WWE going on. There's a variety to choose from. So that's a good thing. And then the independents are just running wild. The independents is where it's at, brother. I love it. We'll get more into that later on, though. I got something else that I want to share with you guys because I'm also a DC fan. So when me and little Alex, little Alex will be here probably the next episode or not next week because he was tired in the last video. So I have to give him a little bit of rest. But as we go on and we go through where our findings are at, wherever it's at, whether it be thrift stores or Little stores that we find great deals at our collectible shops. We'll share them with you, you know, especially if they're great deals. So hopefully if you're in our, our area, 
you know where to check out at. You could type it in your phone and go check them out. Because, man, like I told you, we got Extreme Collectibles. We got uh, Frankenstein's Collectibles. And if you're in Frankenstein's, stop by Dan's Rock and Wrestling. There's a, a space in there called Dan's Rock and Wrestling. Man, they got a great variety of wrestling stuff. Um, rock and roll memorabilia. They got great Godzilla stuff at great prices. And, man, he's a great person there. So stop by and talk to Dan and you could find some of these custom figures there, brother. So hit them up, you know, lots of great stuff there. So hit up Dan's Rock and Wrestling if you're at Frank and Sons in Southern California. I'm pretty sure there you'll find something great that you would love there. Extreme Tones and Montebello. You got Cape and Cowles in um, Fountain Valley. And then we got the Five Below. We said they had great stuff. Big Savers that has a, it's like a little thrift store that you could find something. Don't forget to hit up your local swap meets where you could find great stuff there. But let me show you, show you what me and little Alex found when we stopped by our Target. And I think it was pretty cool because I'm a fan of DC and this guy was my favorite superhero growing up. The savior of man. Who does that remind you of that came through to raise the consciousness of all and enlighten all? Wow. You got to read between the lines. Let me show you. Let me share with you this figure. The Superman himself. Wow, that looks old school, man. That is a pretty cool figure, if I do say so myself. My God, I had to get it. I told, I told little Alex, you know what, little Alex? I'm going to have to break the bank with this one. I got to get this figure for myself. And keep it in the box. Because man. It just took me back to my childhood. Because that was my favorite superhero. Him and Spider-Man. And then my brother. Chapter creator. His was Batman. So wow. But this. This was a super cool figure man. If you look in the background. There's a little card back there. You know. Man. Well that card. There's a picture of it in the back. So if you can't see it. I would like to share that with you guys. Man, that is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool DC figure. They got Batman too right now. They got so much cool stuff. So as we go on, we'll share with you guys more and more, you know, of what we find and what we bring. But I thought this was a pretty cool one. It comes with interchangeable hands, you know. Wow, there's just so much cool stuff. Number 1000 Action Comics, Superman. Oh, this is a McFarlane toys. Wow, DC McFarlane toys. Awesome. Man, and I don't know if you could see that up close. This reminds me of that 1980s Superman movie. That super that S on the chest is popping out, man. Look at that. I don't know if you could get a good angle of that and see that, but that thing is pretty cool. I don't know. I might have to let little Alex open that. And in a later video, in another video later on. But I think that was pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully we, we took your mind off of things and we brought joy into your heart. Thank you because every um, view that you guys share with us, every time that you take time out of your life to spend with us, we are so grateful for it and for you. Thank you so much. Hopefully we raise your vibration. Hopefully we put a smile on your face. And what we'll cre we create and we follow our passion of creativity because we are creators. Hopefully that brought joy to you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this and share if you would like. Thank you so much and see you next time. Peace.